Generally speaking, I try to save the funniest piece of video for the end of the review, where I can use it as a stinger and end the whole thing on an up note. Or barring that, you're subjected to me yelling at a delicious hamburger again. Quite often, I can find that moment during the playthrough and just remember it for later. Deponia was filled with so many perfect comedic moments, though, that I'd have to stop talking here just to be able to fit them all in. So pay attention to the text in this video, watch it a couple times if need be, because this is point-and-click adventuring done right, which is to say, delightfully absurd. My wife sometimes talks to herself when she's down there. He must have picked that up from her. We can't meet anymore. <coughs> Although my husband is almost deaf, his bird has quite good ears. <coughs> from the makers of the wonderfully off-kilter Edna and Harvey game comes a tale of adventure, resourcefulness, and tolerating the whining of your ex-girlfriend, who still lets you live in her house, and who provides so food for your jobless ass, well, and whose stuff you totally not pillage not in your attempts to escape from this post-apocalyptic junk heap you call a town. Granted, it's a fairly laid-back post-apocalypse, where miners blast through trash in search of useful stuff, and there's apparently still wasabi peas, so that's a plus. As Rufus, a dreamer with a heart of... For Micah, so alright, so Why? Rufus is a you jerk, and when his best friend and girlfriend treat him like crap, it's completely backyard. justified, and you feel good about guys. it. And if I find out that the disappearance of my favorite pair of boots is connected in any way to the construction of your ridiculous escape pod, may God have mercy on your soul. I had to carry the black powder in some kind of vessel, didn't I? What? Anyway. By going through the usual point-and-click machinations via a very user-friendly system, you engage in any number of completely ridiculous tasks that actually succeed in advancing a completely ridiculous story. So it all works out. In maybe one of the most convenient control innovations yet, you simply roll the mouse wheel down to access your inventory and up to put it away. If you thought Edna and Harvey had detailed vocal work, buckle in, because Deponia goes even further down the stuffed rabbit hole. Rare is the game that makes me stop down laughing right in the middle of it, but Rufus's hijinks and demented internal monologue had me in knots. Compared to its predecessor, the artwork, the soundtrack, and the animation are significantly more refined, and the massive areas are packed with things to pick up, look at, complain about, and eventually smash together into new and interesting contraptions. Contraptions like the most badass espresso maker of all time. It's like the Phantom of the Starbucks, man. It's beautiful. Honestly, I can't find a bad word to say about Deponia, save for the standard griping about a puzzle that left me stumped at the time. The important part is that its own logic is consistent for whatever value of logic is being used at the time. Yeah, you might need to stop down and consult a guide for the more eclectic bits, but the journey to get there is certainly going to be entertaining. Daedalic's adventure games have been called the second coming of LucasArts, despite their having to be translated out of German each time. And frankly, there's two more chapters of Deponia for me to dig through. Now, if only I could remember my screws. It's always the same. Always the same. A beautiful young girl in a tight jumpsuit falls from the sky heavily injured. And immediately, everyone's falling over themselves to help her. Hussy. Hussy!